Hi folks, I'm back with another update. Uh, here's a picture of got the new Ethernet uh, cable over to the uh, shop. And while I was at it, I figured I might as well run an electric line from the uh, solar system back over to the trailer. So I got a bigger PVC pipe, three quarter inch, and I ran both lines inside the pipe. So now I eliminated the extension cord from the shop and uh, and got a better electric system at the same time. One of my neighbors gave me a, an antique uh, milk can uh, last week so I cleaned that up and uh, spray painted it uh, with some enamel uh, paint and there it is. I got it sitting by the in the front of the shop. I'll probably put a plant or something in, the, in that. This is my uh, Hughes satellite uh, system that I got. It's uh, two-way communications and uh, I got it because I'm uh, way out in the country, 20 miles from the nearest city and the telephone service and the internet service is uh, is pretty poor out here and so is electric service for that matter. And they go down a lot so um, I got this so I can have better uh, uh, communications especially if the system goes down uh, all together, all the landlines and I've got uh, I've got communications anyway. Okay, I want to give you an overview of the property now, literally, and um, show you some of the projects I've got going on and some of the projects I'll have uh, going on in the future. Um, this is the greenhouse and uh, shop you've already saw, and the, the garden area and the pond. I've showed you pictures of those already. And uh, there's my uh, electromagnetically uh, shielded trailer and uh, uh, I plan to eventually build a super adobe house uh, in this area right here that's not started yet and uh, <coughs> along the front and this uh, side over here uh, these are goji berries I've got planted here I started them from seeds that I ordered from China a couple of years ago and uh, I got those in the ground and uh, I lost a few plants to gophers but uh, I replaced those and hopefully I'll start getting some goji berries next year. Uh, my satellite dish sets over here out of the way next to this fence here and <coughs> down, uh, uh, down here I have a storage uh, shed that was, uh, was already here. It was so overgrown that you couldn't see it from the road so, uh, but it, the uh, there was a big storage here, and I built a I built a shed on the back of it, so I had some more some more space. And I'll show you a picture of that here. And this is the area underneath the shed on the back of the storage building, and uh, it used to be my uh, workshop before I built the new greenhouse and, uh, and shop. Um, so what I've done with this is I've converted it to. Uh, um, an outdoor lab area of where I'm going to do the carbonization stuff and so I've got the microwave and the kiln out here with uh, with my uh, stirring hot plate to do uh, that kind of stuff. Alright, this is a clear area here that gets a lot of sun and I'm going to build a solar still right here so I can make my own uh, distilled water. The soil around here is uh, a lot of cinder uh, cinder mines and cinder cones, a lot of them in this county, and uh, that the soil is uh, high in iron and uh, high in sulfur, so it's on the acidic side too. And um, <coughs> so I had to lime or the garden good to get the pH up. But uh, this uh, the geology around here is kind of interesting. Uh, we're right at the northern end of the motherlode uh, gold country in California. And it's also a, a high platinum uh, area uh, from here north for 50 miles or so. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. So that's going to go right in this area right here. And I'll take you back to the live video here shortly. Okay, that uh, sunny spot was uh, right in here. And where I'm doing the carbonization work is under the shed right here. And 
next I'm going to show you the, in the corner here I've got a destructive distillation uh, project I've been working on for years off and on and it's uh, it's getting closer so but uh, and then I've got mushrooms planted uh, on a strip along this back uh, fence over here and some storage area uh, over here and then I've got another storage shed built uh, on the back of the neighbor's barn which is right on the, the fence line here so uh, anyway so that's the whole property and uh, we'll, I'll show you this destructive distillation and then we'll get into the, uh, uh, the improvements I've made to the uh, battery testing equipment this is my uh, destructive distillation project and I've, I've got a little concrete pad I poured uh, underneath of it to build it on and uh, I'll be doing a special uh, video about this pretty soon but this is a really cool uh, technology that uh, was popular about a hundred years ago and uh, needs to be needs to come back and uh, be improved upon and what I'm trying to do is uh, miniaturize it it's normally a lot bigger than this but uh, I'll, I'll go over that in, a, in another video Okay, back to the battery research. Uh, this is the test chamber with the, some of the sensors installed. Um, the two white wires there on the right are the uh, uh, temperature sensors, dual temperature sensors. And I'm going to have to uh, put a little bit of silicon um, caulking on the tips of those so that they're insulated from the battery uh, because they, they could get some voltage across those. <coughs> and uh, because of the meter between them but anyway uh, and then on the on the left hand side is the alligator clips to hook up the battery for testing and the, and the, the test uh, battery mount is for the testing is in the middle and then which that might have to get moved uh, a couple of inches because of the length of the uh, pH meter which is laying there uh, in the platter there um, and you can see that it's pretty good size and I didn't want to drill a big hole through the bottom of the platter to run that wire up through there uh, and then have to seal around uh, a small wire and a big hole so um, what I came up with was this little slot uh, over near the edge where the rim uh, sits on it and then I just took a loop of wire and pushed it down through the slot and filled the little space between the, the wires and uh, so now the uh, the rim of the <coughs> of the bowl sits on there uh, nice and uh, still makes a good seal um, so that's what I've got there okay here's the whole system so far you can see the uh, uh, I've got the carbon dioxide uh, sensor and uh, data loggers laying on the bottom of the uh, test chamber and uh, I'm still waiting on the oxygen sensor data logger to come in. It was supposed to be here yesterday, but I got a notice from Amazon that it was late. So, and you can see in the background behind the, uh, the uh, uh, USB hub, I've got the electric now mounted on electric strip uh, mounted right there where I can plug the computer and the uh, uh, power hub in and uh, so that's all set up and the uh, ethernet cable is running right you can't see it it's underneath the edge of the table and hooks into the back of the computer okay this uh, is the last slide here and it just shows the uh, top of the test chamber how the uh, bowl f fits down between the two wires uh, that I made the loop through the platter with from the pH sensor and uh, it fits nice in there it's going to make a nice seal. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.